name's Brent McCarthy. I'm the Manifold and Carburetor Product Manager for the Edelbrock Group. I work out of the Torrance facility. One of the things we do here in Torrance is we turn castings into machine products. We do things like intake manifolds, cylinder heads, and complete supercharger systems. This is our 2650 DP3C, our dual pass three core supercharger. Air comes up through one intercooler, comes around and down through the other. You get the maximum cooling, and maximum efficiency. This is a cylinder head. This is our spread port, big block Chevy, probably the biggest head we make. This we actually uh, machine here, base machining. We actually CNC it in North Carolina. Uh, set up for racing, 1.2 inch raised exhaust port, set up for up to 500 valve size. This is our conventional port, big block Chevy, Super Victor II manifold. This represents the highest level of conventional manifold that we have. Uh, five, three, eight square inch runner and in the entries, uh, as you can see, fully machined. I graduated from engineering school, started off as an engineer for Edelbrock. I've actually worked here 36 years. Uh, manifolds are my babies, they're my passion. Uh, I grew that passion into product management. Uh, and then the carburetors kind of were a natural extension of that. So now I oversee uh, carburetor product management as well. This manifold starts life in San Jacinto, California from raw sand and molten metal. And it gets, once the mold is filled, it gets finished there, wheelabrated there, then it gets sent to Torrance where we actually machine it. And we've got a couple of machining processes that we use. We either have a port mill process that you're actually gonna see as you walk through today. We actually have a new process where we uh, hold the manifold by the lugs on the bottom and machine it all in one final pass, just one complete machining cycle on one machine. An intake manifold has no moving parts, yet it can change the torque and horsepower of an engine dramatically. And so you have to picture what's happening in inside of an engine. You've got a piston moving up and down, and sometimes we put our hands over it and we feel it and it just feels like it's constant airflow, but it's not. It's, it's one cylinder at a time, it's one cylinder after the other, and that interrupted flow is causing pressure waves that go through the manifold. And those pressure waves are what we can kind of harness to enhance the overall engine flow. I know sometimes you people probably, people look at a dual plane manifold and they say, how in the world could that be better than something else? But a dual plane manifold gives you that torque peak at, at uh, 3,500 and it's just because of the tuning. The tuning effect of separating four cylinders into one plane, four cylinders in another plane, and having an alternating firing order in each plane it sets up pressure waves and, and that's why you feel it right at 3,500 for a performer, 4,500 RPM for an RPM manifold. And you get that little bang. Uh, PRI has always been just a great show. I mean, I've been to so many SEMAs, and then I remember my first PRI show. I walked into the room, or into the main hall, and there was a gambler chassis just bolted to the wall. I said, oh, this is great. This is where I want to be. And every booth was interesting. You know, the people are building new stuff for racing, and they're enthusiastic, and I just love PRI show. Always have. Uh, and again, I miss it. Wish, wish we were there this year, but next year's going to be great. We've saved a few products back, and next year we're really going to hit it hard. I'm Brent McCarthy and I am PRI.